We're really loaded good. down. We're headed to the Bahamas finally for a vacation. I don't even think we tell life's always vacation, but we're always working here down here fishing. It's time to go with our family and friends. We've been loading the boat for two days and cleaning it. Just had a swordfish camp, had really good fish in that, but uh, we got Franker here, Charlie's here, Sarah's behind the camera, and a couple of our friends are gonna fly over and meet us. But we're headed to Spanish Wells, it's been about a 250 mile run, and we got a gorgeous day, a lot better than last year. But uh, we got all our rods and reels on the boat, we're loaded down with food, we got bait on the boat. Took a few days uh, getting ready, and I wanna thank Blue Wave for sponsoring this video. We'll tell you more about that later. So our final destination is all the way over here at Spanish Wells. So that's where we're gonna wind up going. Which is right there. So 214 nautical miles. So it'll be around 250 statute miles. By the time we zig and zag around there, it's not a straight line, you know, you gotta do this. So we gotta go 214 nautical miles, but our first stop is gonna be by Orange K, which we're not really gonna stop, we're gonna run here. So we're going from Alamorada, Orange K, we're gonna cross over right around here. Go hit the Northwest Channel light there, get real close, run by Chub K. Chub K is right there, and work our way all the way here to the top end of Luther. This is a Luther here, and that's Spanish Wells. So it is 7.38 a.m. right now. With a little bit of luck, we'll be there by uh, 2 o'clock. Fingers crossed. Good time, we're almost there. Moving fast. We're like Moving halfway, fast. More than halfway there. 42 miles an hour average on the way over. That's quick. So we're nearing Northwest Light. We're gonna be past the Bear Islands next. Making good time. You know, it's a little bumpy there with that south wind back closer to Alamorada, like to the Keys. But once we're on the Gulf Stream, it laid out and beautiful and nice chop of the bank there, maybe two foot, but just ran right over it. And averaging about 0.75 miles per gallon. And I think by the end of the day, we'll be close to 0.8 miles per gallon. On a 42 footer with four motors and the comfort that you get riding on a Freeman, you can't beat that. So we're gonna have some food now and take a little break for five minutes and keep on going. And we got fresh line on some of these tuna rods here. Hopefully the elephant tuna will be here because we'd love to catch a couple. But we got rods for everything. We got spinner rods, we got a kite rod in case we put a kite up there. We got some conventional, some little inshore rods. We got the wire line over there. We got our tuna rods here, a deep drop rod. Yeah. There's Northwest Shoal right here, you know, Northwest Channel Light right there. We just went by, that stick over there is the light. And we're gonna run here past the Berry Islands. Chub K, you know, we love going there. And we are working our way across here, continuing east. I was gonna go around, come on the top side, the north side there, of Eleuthera and come on into Spanish Wells, but I actually think it's a straighter line and save a few miles, we're gonna go in here by Egg Reef here, Egg Island right there, Little Egg. And then just follow these uh, recommended routes on the Simrads. And we'll just run our way up here. And that's where we'll wind up tonight, this afternoon, a couple few more hours. So we'll see you there and that'll be home base for a week. Everyone threw on their rain jackets for uh, three minutes of rain and then we were through it. 
The sun's coming out, and we got all week. Spanish well is Yacht Haven, on 16. Outside of the big white boat. Okay. All right, sounds good. Okay, thank you. Custom. Yellow flag Yellow has been deployed. Up. They're like, we're not coming out in the rain. Go to the end of the dock and wait for us. <laughs> I'm an island boy. I'm an island boy. I'm an island boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sarah, what's the next step? Customs? I called customs. Are they coming here or I gotta go there? They're coming here. Okay. We got our quarantine flag up right there. Checking in. But the guys were nice helping us get tied up and uh, Man, you know here what? we go. I was gonna say deploy the flag, you can remove the flag. Taking her down. We're cleared in. Welcome to the Bahamas. So the customs guys just showed up, plus immigration. Super nice, did that and uh, got all the paperwork done there. We did some online with Click to Clear beforehand. Well, Sarah did, not we. Good job, Sarah. Still yelled at me. <laughs> Nick didn't like, like a couple numbers I put on the Click to Clear, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> I'm just an island boy. Island we're in. Doing the vibe. We're, we're illegal. We're here. We can get off the dock and go. We're gonna get our golf carts. We're gonna go see the house. Yeah, we're gonna show the house. Stuff. Yeah. Here we go. We're gonna gotta show you guys the house where we're staying and uh, got a couple more guests flying in here soon. Rob bailed. He hurt his hamstring. Robzilla, you ain't got no game. Linda, we wish you were here. But it's time to get uh, some stuff off the boat and go check out the house. That's right. We're leading the way here in Spanish Wells. Here comes the cleanup crew. We unloaded the boat and we're heading to the house. This way. Remember how to get home, Sarah? Nope, that's why you're driving. <laughs> thing I paid attention. In the Bahamas here, you drive on the left side of the road, too. house tour here in Spanish Wells, Alutra. Come on inside. Welcome. We made Charlie. it one piece. We made it one piece. Check out the kitchen though. That's the cool part. All right. Hopefully we catch some fish to uh, eat in here. Frank the tank. Frank the tank. Got a four bedroom house here. Check it on out. That's the garage up there. So I'll leave that one there. But Frank is organizing, do what he does. Dining room table. Sassy. Nice house. Guest bathroom right here. Bedroom number two in there. Bedroom number three in here. And the master bedroom right in here. Bedroom number four. Nice house and we're excited and this will be home for the next week. Who left the toilet seat up? I did that. We're headed to the beach. Which is walking distance from the house. House is right back there, a couple hundred yards. Here we go. You could buy this piece of land right here though. I think I'm gonna move here. Oh, it's a beautiful beach. Yeah, this beach is beautiful. This is where I came with Jeff Blything that day and I said, we're coming back here to rent a house next time. Oh, moly. It's beautiful. You could probably catch a bonefish here. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, out there on that flat? Probably.
Bassie got a conk. My girl. That's my girl. I got one. He was running from me. How'd you catch up to him? He moved. That's a nice one. Um, Curly, this is how we do it in the Bahamas here. We're eating Oreos, double stuff, and Sassy's catching conk. We're gonna clean this bad boy up. It doesn't get much better than that, you guys. July vacation in the Bahamas. Oreos and conk. Mmm. Look at the color in that shell. What you got, dog? Uh. Oh, boom! Double header. That's a big one there. I don't got it. I got it. You don't want to drop them. It's too much work. You drop them, this is bad luck. Break the tank, baby. Oh yeah. <gasps> Where's Roy? Arr! Roy, did you eat the? Roy, did you eat that whole swordfish bait by yourself? <laughs> yep. Dude, that's a oh, that's that's a big one. Limit in five, ten minutes. Nice. That's plenty. We hit a bump on the road. Help me <laughs> Woo! Continue. Leaving Spanish Wells. Yesterday was a rainy day, but you can't control the weather on vacation, so you gotta make the best of it. And that we did. We had lots of fun. Frank, Charlie, Sarah, the shenanigans were rolling. We cleaned some conch on the beach, and then we proceeded to throw the conch scraps and uh, cleanings at each other. And conch slime is very hard to get out of your hair. Um, I had to use sand and bathe my hair for about 20 minutes. Charlie helped that. Frank threw it on my head. We're making the best of it. It's still weenie today, but JL is flying in today. Old John's coming in. We got some rain coming, but we're gonna go check out Egg Reef. We're looking for a shipwreck. Here we go. Franker, where are we at? We're at some shipwreck in some island in the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> ready, Charlie? Yeah. I'm very ready. We're gonna get, this is a pretty serious wreck. You know, you think about, you're cruising out here at night, you'd never see this thing out here. This is it, Frank is hooked up. Oh! oh. Is that a little mackerel? Frank did a cast and hooked up. Oh, there's someone trying to eat him. Big Coon is, oh, ah, Big Coon is trying to eat him. Ow. Big Coon is coming. Here he comes. Holy smokes, there's the wreck. And 
Look at that kudo on this zero mackerel here. Holy smokes, that didn't last long. Franker, what happened? Yeah, he got the best part of him, that dude. That got smoked. Hold it, let's see if we can. You guys can see that right there. There's the barracuda and he smoked that zero mackerel. Yep, it doesn't look like he's gonna eat it again, so guess what? We're gonna turn this into a few yellow eyes later today. Yeah, that thing got smoked. It's a fish eat fish world out there. Look at that thing. Anyhow, like Charlie was saying, we're getting out of shipwreck and you could imagine hitting that night. I mean that was terrifying. I mean look how jagged, you. look how jagged it is. That's yeah. just crazy out here. It looks like it's full of life. I can see a lot of fish just below the surface there. We're ready to do this. Let's go check it out. Frank, is it raining? It's, it's raining again. So much for calm weather and clear skies. Can't control the weather though, wherever you go. It is what it is. We got US diver Charlie and Sassy Sarah out scoping out the environment. See any? What type? Reef shark. Sarah just saw a shark. She's put on the shark shield. Twenty-five knots right now. Boy. So, like I said, I want to thank Blue Wave for sponsoring this video and helping out get over here to the Bahamas. You guys, is a new cleaning product. Um, we just started using it recently, and we really like it. You know, it's strong when you clean the boat, but it doesn't take up the wax and all that stuff. So. We're just gonna size up the bucket here. and We had a long run, a long journey. We got squid juice on here already. We got dirt, we got blood, we got rust, and we gotta give it a good cleaning, so here we go. You can see it sucks up really good. The best part about the soap is it's environmentally friendly, and um, you know it's all biodegradable, which means like 99% of it breaks down. But we got some regular bilge cleaner, we got boat soap, which we use every day, we got some rust remover. We're gonna hit a few spots here. You can see some of this black stuff squid and juice a little bit of fish in here this is all squid juice and dirt from frank right there he made the mess but we're gonna clean it up the storms are coming you guys it's windy here but just cleaning the rest of this off and there's one thing that bothers me it's a pet peeve but when you get rust up here 
This is usually from like tools. Someone puts down like a rusty tool on there, whether it's a pair of pliers or a knife. We're gonna turn this on and hit all that rust and let's just let that sit. And that's our rust remover right there. So we let that sit, you know, just for a minute or so, you guys. Get a little rag there and wipe it off. And it comes right oh, wow, off that there. Works great. So it does work good and it's strong. Still gets the job done, which is what we want to have on the boat because we want it to last a while. So we got a lot more cleaning to do though, you guys. We gotta clean this whole boat. Just want to give a big shout out to them. If you guys haven't seen their products, check them out. Eco-friendly, all EPA certified and all that good stuff. And uh, part of the money right now is going back to a good cause. How about some reef restoration and all that. So, but we got more blood spots up here. I don't know whose handprint that is. I'm going to blame Frank since he's not here to defend himself. So we got to keep on scrubbing. about this this is the pistol of a queen kong man it's long <laughs> ew is it salty it's like a spaghetti noodle you just bought that thing mm. <laughs> bow ticky bow bow